Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry. Just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words. Not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, where in certain dialogue situations you're given multiple choices. They should have done what they did in Final Fantasy VII and have something like a date sequence, and I think they were actually planning on doing something like that, because, I mean, we got okay, too late, and you're more my type. I mean, you'd, you'd think that would have tied into something like a date sequence later on. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. I wish you good luck, little boy. You're going to need it. Uh, packages. Ah, uh, much better. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Yeah, I'll be ready. Sort of. Kimari. What do potions good? Buy some before leaving. Nah. Eh. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going to happen, huh? Well, we talk to everybody. Let's talk to Riku again. Stand thunder. Stand thunder. Can you stand thunder? I can't. But I can. Oh, Waka, the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. More than a guado, at least. What do you say? Uh, Don't care. So, yeah, like I was saying about these guys, their prices are a bit more than Owaka's, so I advise buying from Owaka if you are doing that sort of thing. Oh, let me think. Oh, 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 oh. I remember what I've got to do. This part, they don't really explain what you've got to do. You've just got to come down here. Is the here. Lady Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour. Or Lord Seymour. That's He's oh, a bitch and is going to die. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Yeah, that's what I was saying. They don't really explain that part. You're just supposed to somehow know that you gotta come down here or just wander around long enough to find that cutscene. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! So we got information saying that Seymour has gone to the Temple of Makalania. Well, at least it's not the Temple in Macarena. They say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. 
Well, now we've got to go to the temple in Makalania. We'll be back here later on, though. But first, we need to go through the Thunder Plains. One of my actual favorite spots or portions of the game. I really like the oh Thunder no. Plains. We're here. How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. And so, we're introduced to the Thunder Plains. Now, like I was saying earlier in the Let's Play viewers, I will not be going through the annoying trouble of dodging 200 lightning bolts in a row. I've never been able to do this, and I doubt I ever will be able to do it. In order to dodge lightning bolts, you need to, yeah, it says right there, continuous or constantly mashing the X button, however, can be dangerous, which means you won't always be able to dodge it. But in order to dodge the lightning bolts, you need to... Wow, I'm surprised I dodged that. I wasn't even trying. I was just trying to open up the uh, thing there. But in order to dodge the lightning bolts, you gotta hit the X button right as soon as you see the flash. And that's a lot tougher than what you might think. So all of the enemies in this area are going to actually be weak to water. Nice, a soft. And take half damage from electricity or take or absorb damage from ele electricity. Either way, the point is Let's end it. going through this area, having water-based weapons is going to be a bit more useful than most other stuff. All right, Titus. Murder. And it's at this point, viewers, that I'm going to actually start... Um, and I'm actually going to start, uh, what am I trying to think of? Start just taking my levels in bulk. Early on, those levels were nice and useful, but now, well, we can, oh, excuse me. Well, we can, oh, that's not good. What's our, uh, Anyways, like I was saying, taking my levels in bulk instead in of one at a time just to save on time. I may end up actually just taking all of my levels off screen. Unless I'm coming up to a battle in which I'm going to use it immediately. Alright, I think everybody's gotten their thing done, so let's water this bitch. Now, because we got uh, Riku there so late in the game, she will be gaining levels fairly quickly, as long as you keep using them. Okay, now to talk about these things. Whenever you see a stone that's got the uh, cactar on it, Press square and you'll pray. By praying, you will now have released new enemies onto the field called Quactars. Ooh, a preemptive. Uh, 
This should be enough to murder it. Yep. Not going Titus quite yet. It's still a good idea to try and uh, steal as much as possible, not just from regular enemies, but or not just from those treasure chests, but also from regular enemies. Excuse me. Okay, well, let's move it. Or you know what? I'll take my levels in between or when I reach a save point. That's what I'll do. Now, like I was saying about the lightning bolt viewers, I'm not gonna bother dodging those 200 consecutive lightning bolts, mostly because that is a massive pain in the fucking ass. Oh yeah. Dead. If you ever get into a battle with these guys, definitely try and steal from them. Occasionally, they will drop a item called Musk. <laughs> that, if you've got enough of them, will give you confu er, will give you confusion strike, or more importantly, confusion proof if you put it on your weapon or er, no armor. I should probably. Bring out Kamari first. Uh, no, I don't. I don't no, no. My turn no. now. Uh, Lulu. Well, what next? Ah, not an overkill. Lame. Or, in cases like this where I know I've been waiting to get a insert specific amount of levels here, I'll just go on and take them immediately, that way I can come all the way down here and use one of those level 1 key spheres. Now, since it's still going to be a while before I get the level 4 key spheres I need to get to Ultima, once Kimari gets back to a starting point, I'm going to have him come back up here and use a level 1 key sphere to open up the uh, junction to Titus's sphere grid. Mostly because may as well, since I'm just going to be waiting until I get those level 4 key spheres. Hey, baby. Good day. Hi there. Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. Guados are backstabbing you bastards. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? Yep, no wedding. I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. Oh. And then more battles. Back to the... Moiter. Moiter. Defend. <laughs> But yeah, because of having the still command viewers, this is pretty well much the... Ooh, a petrified grenade. <laughs> nice. Because of the um, still command viewers, this is pretty well much the reason why, at least until the end of the game, I'm All not right. going to be purchasing any items, except for the rare piece of equipment. Is there a thing over here that I can deal with? I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out. 